What's up guys, it's Zach Tark, back with another video. I don't think I've done an official video on this, but it's an exercise I learned while I was at Flux uh, in 21. I think it's called Diddle McNugs. And I just figured having a short video today would be pretty cool, uh, show off what it is and kind of what to work for. So really the first thing that you need to know is the actual exercise. So I'm gonna play it for you. It's gonna be really, really long. But I don't think it'll take me too many tries. It'll be a little dirty, but basically me just teaching you how to do it. So I'm gonna do this at 120. These are basically eighth notes with digits. Basically, like if you're doing sixteenth notes, and then you do right hand diddles, the digit is without the left hand, so. That's a digit. That's basically what you're doing. So let me go ahead and play it at 120. You do right hand, left hand, both hands, and then you do them interlaced. And that's what helps work consistency with diddles because you always wanna make sure that even if you're too tight or too open on your diddles, so, um, that's like too tight. I'm trying to go for too open. The whole point is to keep your hands the same pressure and keep the same diddle throughout the whole thing even if it's too crushed, because it builds consistency where if you're too crushed, then you know that you can keep it too crushed and you just need to open it a little more. If it's too open, you need to close it a little more. You wanna keep the consistent hand because if you don't and you're like, oh, this is too open, let me close it during the exercise, then it doesn't build the consistency. If you get it consistent one way, then you can just open all of that a little bit or close it a little bit and you have even diddles. If you're doing something like this, you wanna know if you're using a lot more wrist or if you're using more arm. And because of this, you're gonna to have to match the check before it. So the eighth notes, I don't wanna do like this and then change, if that makes sense. Cause doing a different wrist motion and then adding arm is kind of pointless. Cause then you're changing before you even get into the diddle. So you wanna keep it at like arms. This is what I would use my arms to do the eighth notes, get a good sound. And then all I gotta do is change the pressure and it'll still look the same. That's what you should aim for. You should aim for the same check arm motion as the diddle arm motion. A big thing to watch out for in this when you're doing the diddles if I do it at a slower tempo, like 90, don't swing the diddles. The first note should be on the dummy. Like that. Diddle McNugs is dealing with diddles and you don't wanna swing it because if you get to 120 and you start doing it, You can slow down, you can speed up. If you start doing it swung, it means you started started too early and you just wanna make sure that it is on the beat. So with that all being said, let me give it my best shot. I haven't done this warm up in a while, but I'm gonna do the whole thing, right, left, both, interlaced. And then that's it for this video. Let's get it. Do it now 120. Count how many times I change my diddle interpretation. And let me know down in the comments. I'll try and think about it and I'll give what I, I think, but also let's just see how it is. I'm gonna try and keep it as consistent as possible.
I counted 11 different diddle types, which means I am very inconsistent right now. Not warmed up, but that shouldn't be an excuse. That just means I need to work on it. Yeah. With that being said, I know what I need to work on. Uh, it's a good thing to start off with if you want to go ahead and warm your hands up a little bit. From right now, my hands are actually a little warm, but not warm enough that I could play that exercise pretty good. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this was informational. Uh, it's a good start when it comes to diddles because sometimes you don't know what you're looking for in trying to play with like technique and all that kind of stuff. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, sometimes I don't describe things very well, or maybe you have a specific question that, hey, maybe he'll know what I'm talking about. Because my technique back then, horrible, very bad. And I'm glad that I was taught this and all the plethora of warm-ups that I've been taught in my time because now I can play, I'd like to say I can play decent. <laughs> uh, and I feel like I could relay that information to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.